Sherry Shepard has been reserved and occupied for quite a long time, catching stand-up gigs and acting jobs left and right while she has been praised for her work by being the beneficiary of a few honors, she won't be bringing back home any prizes in accordance with her affection life. This is a wake-up call about trickery, an agreement that kept her from putting on weight and a hot, smelling wreck. Youngsters support fight. On the off chance that you can't stand it when we plug our bites, I think you improve let me be. Alone. So get your sacks and get the damnation on. Be that as it may, until the end of you all, remember to gather up something to chomp on at snacks. Come. Our web-based snack bar that has a combination of meat and bacon jerky, toasted corn, nuts and watermelon licorice sherry wedded Jeffrey Tarpley in 2001, and in 2006 she went into preterm work with their child Jeffrey Jr., who was conceived gauging 1 pound 10 ounces. She was this way and that to the neonatal emergency unit a while to visit their child. One day after getting back, she found photos of her better half banging another lady. What's more, get this, Sherry figured out later that the lady got pregnant. MHM. 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 Sherry said, golly. That will make it happen. You don't need to stress over me. You don't need to stress over me. She sought legal separation and it was settled in 2009. Jeff was granted $131 a month in kid support. What's more, Sherry let TMZ know that regardless of the terrible experience, she would get hitched again instantly. She burned through no time and continued on with a man named Lamar Sally. Sherry told D.L. Hughley that Lamar was a jobless essayist when they initially met. They marked a prenup and got hitched in August 2011. Sherry later expressed in court docs that after the function, Lamar needed to add a change to the prenup, which incorporated the accompanying. I regard my significant other's perspectives and remember him as head of our home. I will constantly praise my better half is my delight to submit to my significant other as a method for regarding God. I appreciate getting my back smothered by my significant other. I hunger for closeness with him and need to be uninhibited and free. Also, I love making my body means quite a bit to me. I endeavor to keep a sound body weight and exercise something like three times each week. Who on earth he assume he is? Sherry said she wouldn't sign the change. Eventually, they consented to have a youngster by means of substitute, as per Sherry. She wasn't totally ready for the thought. She told Individuals magazine. My circumstance was a feeling of I didn't state what I really wanted and what I needed and what I didn't need. For being frightened of someone leaving the relationship. The child was imagined utilizing Lamar's sperm and a contributor egg. At the point when the proxy was 20 weeks pregnant, Sherry and Lamar drafted the important administrative work that would permit the birth endorsement to distinguish them as the lawful guardians of the kid. In any case, by this point, their marriage was wrecked before the youngster was even conceived. Lamar petitioned for legitimate division in May 2014. As indicated by TMZ, he was being addressed by a similar legal counselor who addressed Kevin Federline during his separation from Brittany Lance's, the site revealed. The main explanation Lamar didn't seek legal separation was on the grounds that he had just lived in California for a considerable length of time, and there's a multi-month residency necessity. In this way, he needed to stand by three additional prior months he had the option to seek legal separation. So at any rate, in front of the expected July 2014 birth of their kid, Lamar told the court he needed full lawful and actual guardianship and he needed Sherry to just have appearance privileges. Accordingly, Sherry would not sign the administrative work that would show her as the youngster's mom on the birth authentication. And afterward days after the fact, she petitioned for legal separation in the province of New Jersey, referring to hostile contrasts. Sherry made no notice of the youngster in development. All things considered, she requested that the court uphold the prenup, which expressed that assuming that the marriage just endured somewhere in the range of two and five years, Lamar would just get a settlement of $60,000. Concerning Lamar's reaction to her documenting, he requested spousal help and needed the prenup he endorsed to be negated in light of extortion. Stand by. Extortion? What in the world? Investigating what is happening a piece further, it seems okay why Lamar needed the prenup refuted. Sherry pulled in $1 million out of 2010, 
while Lamar just made $30,000 with $9,000 of that sum coming from joblessness pay. All in all, if the court maintained the particulars of their prenup, Lamar was going to be destitute. He broke. In addition to all that, her most memorable spouse, Jeff, sprung up and jumped out to document a crisis solicitation to adjust the care course of action for their child, Jeff Jr. As indicated by Jeff, Sherry was a horrendous, horrible mother who dismissed their then nine-year-old child's unique necessities. Jeff guaranteed Sherry routinely left their child with incompetent caretakers and he could scarcely compose. Was perusing at a subsequent grade level and couldn't tie his shoes. He likewise expressed Sherry didn't show their child how to appropriately deal with himself, so cleanliness turned into an issue. Jeff was requesting Sherry's guardianship to be denied which implied he would likewise have the option to request more youngster support from her. As per TMZ, Sherry terminated back by calling Jeff a missing father who didn't merit being a piece of their child's life. Eventually, the adjudicator concluded Sherry would keep up with essential actual care of their child, which implied Jeff would need to manage with a $131 each month he was getting in youngster support installments. As Lamar and Sherry's separation procedures proceeded, they additionally crept increasingly close to the proxy's expected date. Lamar was prepared to invite his new dear baby, yet he was apparently stressed that Sherry wasn't however invigorated as he might have been. The youngster was expected to show up on July 28, and Lamar was purportedly offended that Sherry booked a gig nine days before the child's expected date, multi-day. To him, he accepted Sherry was barely making it. Sources told TMZ that Lamar let Sherry know that missing the birth would be a reprehensible sin. All things considered, maybe Sherry booked the gig since she had no designs to go to the birth or to try and assume a critical part in the youngster's life. On July 5, 2015, 23 days before the proxy's expected date, insiders told TMZ that Sherry believed nothing should do with the unborn kid. The insider added that Sherry trusted her. Organized spouse fooled her into having the child in any case so he could get youngster support from her. Also, since the child was imagined with Lamar's sperm and another person's egg, Sherry didn't need authority. What's more, get this. She would even not like to be viewed as the youngster's parent. She encouraged, it doesn't matter. Sherry needs to pay kid backing to two men, and she isn't satisfied about it. During a 2017 Twitter bluster, she composed that she didn't think it was fair that Lamar possibly worked 20 to 30 hours out of every week when she was working at least 15 hours per day. She then, at that point, blamed her most memorable spouse for taking care of Lamar data about her. Sherry composed, I picked him and acknowledge results of terrible decisions. Also, that finishes us of this hot, smelling bad dream. Assuming you partook in this video, let us in on down underneath.